This spreadsheet is going to pull in on a per SKU basis for the monthly sales as well as a single period for the profit and loss across your entire SKU list. So I refer to the instructions because it has the color coding um, and the functions of the different tabs. Information here, color legend um, of the cells so that if you see a purple formula or purple font, that means it's a gorilla formula to pull in the bulk data. Starting on the sales side, you can see the month by month um, units sold. So this is going to be the units. Uh, and then on the right side, if you're in the US, it's going to show the dollar value. Now, if you're in Europe or any other country where you use a different currency, this is just formatting. So rather than just doing dollars, you can change the um, formatting of the currency, change it into more formats, more currencies, etc., and change it to whatever your local um, symbol should be. That's pretty much it on this side. There's the monthly units and then the dollar value or the total value sold. The SKU-PL profit and loss is now going to pull in based on the selected time period that you have here. So in this example, this is for 2021 um, April. Now you can select all of the different months here. So if you can do May, April, March, etc., and, and going back. And then what that will do is on a per SKU basis, it will pull up all the information for sales, the discounts, promos, etc., all of these different sorted and categorized um, line items that we provide you. So this uses the um, profit and loss um, function. So if you don't know how to use that, look up the documentation. We have lots of examples. Um, and pretty much what this is going to show you is, like right now in this example, all the way down from, let's say, here to row 300 and something I believe yep 304 um, so a total of about 298 SKUs so just under 300 and it's going to give you a um, consolidated basic profit and loss based on each SKU now what this does not include is it doesn't include things like your storage cost because that is not attributed on a per SKU basis and also things like clawback clawback or um, goodwill reimbursements by Amazon Seller Central. Those are things that can only be done on an account, total account basis. And so that's why you don't see it here. So for example, like anything Amazon lending, it's not going to show up on a per SKU, um, storage fees, etc. And even the Amazon COGS, so things like um, other commissions or other um, charges that a Amazon may have charged you, that's not going to show up. Um, so for that, you would have to look at it on not on a per SKU basis, but on a total account basis. But again, we have examples of that. But the purpose of this video is to show you um, how this particular spreadsheet works. And then lastly, the product da data sheet is going to automatically pull in all the SKUs, the images, product names, ASIN, etc. Um, and this is which feeds, this is the information that feeds into this SKU PO as well as the cell stats.